What's going on YouTube? Jalen from JalenMarker.com here back again with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up keywords inside of ManyChat so that when people actually reply to some of your messages with certain keywords you can actually send a message back to them um, based on that keyword. But before we get into that definitely subscribe and hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video. I'm always posting new content so definitely subscribe and hit the alert button so you know when that content is released. Um, let's actually just go straight into it. So I like keywords in ManyChat because you can actually dictate what someone does. So you can tell them in, in an original message to say, hey, if you're looking to download this PDF or if you're looking to uh, purchase my starter kit or whatever the case may be, you can say respond with this keyword, respond with this particular keyword and you'll get a message back with the special link or the special access link or whatever the case may be, right? You can actually send them a message. So. To do this, all you need to do, it's really simple, is you need to go into ManyChat, you need to sign into your account, and you need to go into the Automation tab, which is here, and then go to Keywords. And you can see here I have uh, quite a few um, keywords here, and I have some actions for those keywords. And all you need to do for setting up a new keyword is just go to New Rule here up the top right-hand corner, and then you can just type in the keyword. So let's say that we want to give a secret access link. So we can say type secret, we can say type... Um, secret with all caps we can type it with a, a, you know just a capital S or lowercase s um, and then boom right and then all you have to do now is press enter or you can click on create keyword and then it will allow us to set up the message so message is secret secret or secret right they're all the same but it depends on the different verbiage that the person's going to respond with or the how, how they respond with so you can even do um, like uh, uh, uppercase S, lowercase E, uppercase C, lowercase R, because some people like to be funny. There's different things you could do there. Um, but what you want to do at that point um, is you want to click on create new reply. So this is actually going to be the reply message that they get once that keyword is met or once they type that keyword back. So you can say something like, awesome, um, click the button below to access your secret link right it's gonna be sick <laughs> and then you can add the button and then you can actually have this open up a website and then you can you know uh, I'll just put Google here for now um, and then you can have this say uh, secret link or you can say something like access secret link um, and then what you can do also is add additional actions. So I like to add tags for my actions. So I like to say clicked, um, access, secret, link, right? So I know that they actually click that link and then I know that that's someone that is clicking links and someone that will um, potentially buy my product and I can actually market to them later. And then you can also add additional actions like notify, um, admin, which is something that I like to use a lot when someone actually does something that I uh, want to be known uh, notified about I would like to um, have this set so then I can actually go into my main chat by um, live chat and then see who's actually interacting and then respond to them in live time and kind of get that personal interaction going with them um, you can also trigger a zap so if you have this set up for a zap um, you can do that as well that's a little more advanced so we won't talk about that today um, but I like to do is subscribe to sequences as well. So like following up with someone, uh, I'll be talking about sequences in another video, but this is um, something that you can do. So keep that in mind. So that's all you need to do for that. And then we, what we would do now is going to click on publish. And then if we go back to our keywords, um, you can see this is set. You can also set actions based on the keyword that they, they uh, entered. So you can click on action. You can say add a tag, um, typed, right, uh, secret, right, add that tag. Um, and then what you can also do is add additional action on top of that. So you can trigger a zap based on, you know, it, them uh, saying that particular keyword. You can subscribe them to a sequence based on that keyword. Um, you can do a whole bunch of different things based on the keyword. So keep in mind that this is something that you can kind of get lost in, but it's super powerful. Um, depending on what you're using it for and I've used this for a lot of different things for e-commerce products for webinars um, And I've had success with both just using keywords and also using sequences as well in combination with the keyword Capabilities of main chat. So I want to make this quick video. It's not going to be too long Like I said, I'm going to have different videos talking about the different uh, topics in this particular um, This particular field where it says automation. I'm going to be talking about uh, sequences. I'll be talking about 
uh, what to do in, ter in terms of your welcome message and your default replies and stuff like that. So we're gonna talk about it. I'll see you guys in the next video, but definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed and click that alert button so you know when I post a new video. And if you have any comments or suggestions for the next video, leave those down below. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.